Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in today's video, I am going to talk about Manchester United fans lowering the standards and so many records Eric Ten Hag has broken. It's absolutely insane. I couldn't believe it when I was listening to the statistics how many records Eric Ten Hag has broken. Actually, mad. But let's start off with Manchester United fans. The other night in the UEFA Champions League, after having literally our worst European campaign ever, where we conceded 15 goals, yes, 15, and the fans were clapping the players off the pitch. I mean, what the fuck? How can you be clapping them motherfuckers off the pitch? We just had our worst European campaign ever, do you think the players care about you? No, they don't, because they don't care about the football club. All they care about is the money, money, the being on the big bucks. That's all they care about. And you supporters in the stadium have the decency to clap them players off the pitch. I mean, if I was there, I'd boo in the crowd. But, oh, no, you're not a true fan if you boo in the crowd. Uh, really? Really? A football club I've been following for 24 years, and you don't think I have the right to boo that and cards in the stadium? Of course I do, because I don't lower the standards. I raise them. I have very, very high standards. That's what I am. So, yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. And these United fans saying, Oh, we need to get her ten hog at time. Until Sir Jim comes in, until we know the situation of the football club. Fuck off, seriously. I mean, give Eric Ten Hag good time. No, he needs to get out the door immediately. And if we lose to Liverpool, I can see him getting sacked. It's as simple as that. Because this is nowhere near acceptable. We're fucking Manchester United's a football club. Like I say, if you're still behind Eric Ten Hag, then that's your decision. He's not my manager, though. He's not been my manager since we went out to the Carabao Cup. But he won a trophy last season. I don't care. I know he won us a trophy last season. Great, that's the aim in the game is to win a trophy. Well done. But this season is going horribly wrong. So I really don't understand why some fans are still behind Eric Ten Hag. My loyal subscriber, MUFC Racer, is now slowly starting to get on board, which I knew he would eventually, that I got it spot on about Ten Hag. I warned fans at the start of the season that this season was going to be absolutely peak, and I got it spot on, because it has been absolutely peak. I'm not going to lie, it's been terrible. The alarm bells were happening during pre-season because we weren't exactly playing great in pre-season. And at the start of the season, when we just got over the line against Wolves, that was more alarm bells to me. Where, obviously, Wolves should have had a penalty in that game. So, yeah. I mean, you can be happy your team won, but you can still be annoyed even when your team's won at the performance like how many times have I been annoyed when we've won games this season how many times actually feels like it's a loss the way I've been acting this season but it's the standards I raise because I grew up watching this football club win trophy after trophy and now it's like we only seem to win one trophy in about four or five years or something it's Nowhere near acceptable. And the amount of records Eric Ten Hag has broken this season. I mean, Man United have never conceded 15 goals until Ten Hag. Bournemouth have never scored three goals in the Premier League until Ten Hag. Bournemouth have never won at Old Trafford until Ten Hag. I mean, how many more records is this clown going to break? Seriously, it's nowhere near acceptable. All these big YouTube channels like the United Stands, the Stratford Paddock and that, they've absolutely brainwashed the fans into getting behind the team, making it all PR and that, where yeah, it's not going to work with me, I tell you. I mean, me, 
I can be very stubborn. Like, if I didn't agree with anything off camera, like, say, in real life, I can be very stubborn about it. I hardly ever change my mind. So on the odd occasion, I do change my mind. So I'm not changing my mind about Eggs and Hog and the fans and chatting absolute bollocks. Because they are. It's because the, the United stand and the Stratford's paddock is to blame about it. And the United stand, I mean, that girl back on the United stand, I like listening to her videos. That she has a pass to go on to the stadium at Old Trafford. I mean, how's that possible? You don't seem to work for the football club and you have a pass. And these big YouTubers interview and players as well it's it's trying to make fans get on the side and the manager and the football club it's just absolutely ridiculous that is why my football club is in the gutter because the standards are dropped recently i was listening to lee reacts right when he was reading through on the way he's lee gunner lee reacts is a youtube channel the famous Lee Gunner, he was reading the statistics about what someone said about Eggs and Hog, and I couldn't believe it. And he was mentioning these Bayern Munich fans that they won 9 0, but their football was still not sustainable. It just shows you have high standards that you can still complain despite your team winning. Because, like I said, I complained loads of times this season despite us winning games, because I know they're nowhere near acceptable, not the standards in the football club I've known and been supporting this last 24 years. Like, alright, I'm happy we win games, but then you ask fans saying, oh, just be happy we won the game, it's not about the performance. Oh, do me a favour, yeah? That is your own opinion. Me, I still say you can still complain even when your team's won if they're not playing to the standards what I expect because we're not how many times like I said earlier in the video have we got on the line this season it's ridiculous it's like AFTV right Manchester United and Arsenal are the two biggest PR football clubs because these fan channels you know AFTV the amount of PR they spun on Arsenal fans the United stand in Stratford's paddock, the amount of PR they sp spun on United fans, it's just, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But like I said, it's not going to work with me. I hardly listen to the big YouTubers these days anyway. There's only a few I listen to, is Mark Goldbridge, uh, Terry Fluids off the Football Terrace, the United Stands and a couple on the United Stands maybe. Rants, oh my goodness, I was listening to a video. Lee Gunner was playing the clip on his video of rants and bants absolutely going in on Eric Ten Hag and the players. Oh my words, I was laughing my head off. But he has high standards, he doesn't stop saying how it is like me. He has high standards and just says it how it is because he has the balls to, like me, honestly. If loads more had the balls to say how it is, this clown would be out the door right now. But it's down to the Stratford's paddock and the United stands. Why? And this clown is still in a job because the football club want you to get behind Eric Zen Hogg. No, no, no. Not going to work with me. If you want to hear a Manchester United fan talking factual information, subscribe to this YouTube channel because I will absolutely roast the big YouTubers, honestly. I have the balls to do it. And many more should as well. But because I'm fan channels, that is the reason why my football club, what I've been supporting since the late 90s, is absolutely in the gutter. It's as simple as that. What an absolute joke. Seriously. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And yeah, I just, I had to get it off my chest. If you listen to Bayern Munich fans, German fans, I mean, even after one loss, you know, they say, oh, they're Thomas Tuchel out. I mean, levels. That is what you call levels above 
and the English football clubs. The Bundesliga fan base are levels above most of the fan base in England. Why? Because they have the standards, that's why. Just like with me, I have the standards to say it how it is. And I'm not changing any time soon. I mean, you can cry about it all you like, but I generally do not care. I will carry on calling this clown now and the bullshit of my football club. Because I love my football club. I, I care about this badge more than what the fucking players do. And obviously, Anthony's another one who should be out the door. He's not good enough. But yeah, anyway, like I said, comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. Yep, what a load of PR bullshit, these fan channels, honestly. Bye-bye.